Hey guys, Chris here, Ryko Ingleburn. Today we are talking about all things fittings. I've got a coast fittings. So, uh, you can see my lovely array here of hydraulic coast fittings. This is what we would call hydraulic coast fittings. Um, it also can be called hydraulic uh, crimp tails, um, uh, hydraulic coast ends. Another um, term, along with some other things. Our designs are a our design of the most common hose ends and hose fittings are a one piece design, which means the hose tail and the ferrule is all one piece, ready to crimp on to the correct series of hoses that, that this um, hose end is, is designed for. So, that's a JIC fitting. And also a JIC fitting. So a Ryko J Seal. And that's a JIC fitting as well. So as you can see, depending on uh, the requirements and the flow rates and pressures, it would match the size of the hose and the fitting to the system flow. And pressure. So, um, in the RICO uh, book, there is an, um, I won't go through that today, but in the RICO technical manual, uh, there is some graphs and some tools you can use to work out the size of the hose you need for your flow rate. So, that is uh, a useful tool if, if you're not sure which flow rate to use. A typical use for a JRC hose fitting would crimp that onto an end of a hose. So, in this case, this is a 2000 series hose end. So you can see it's a 2000 series by a few ways. One way, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says 2000 series on the ferrule. But there's also two lines here, which is the visual marking that that is a 2000 series. So that's a standard hose end to go onto our one wire and two wire hose, which is very, very common in hydraulics and, and our everyday hose, if you'd like to to call it. One wire and two wire hose is what we would use typically probably 70 to 80% of the time. Um, they also come in um, where you will see uh, in this case, in this fitting, you can see that that is a 7000 series. And you can tell that the visual identification on that fitting is four lines which tells us that it's different from this one that has two lines. So a 7000 series is basically a high pressure, high pressure hose can be coupled with this fitting. Um, the Ryko J seal, which is JIC, is a Ryko JIC adapter. So we've got an inch and a 16 JIC thread here. We would call that a dash 17. And we have its female equivalent in a hose end. So this may be screwed to a cylinder or into a motor or into a hydraulic valve. And then we would make up our hose assembly and we would screw. Okay, JIC. So we have an inch and a 16 UNF thread. Therefore, it's an inch and a 16 JIC fitting because it has a 37 degree taper here. And it has 37 degrees matching inside. So when they screw together, the thread, we tighten the thread and we'll pull that flare up into the mating surface in the female section and create a metal to metal seal. Now these J, J seals are relatively new for Ryko, they've probably been around for uh, only four years or so maybe. Um, and they're a little bit different, I mean um, when I say different, they're quite advanced in the way they've designed this fitting. 
I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but if you come in close, this is this surface down here that I said matches. This surface is actually conical or radiused. And what that does, it gives it a, 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 bigger, a bigger patch of contact, basically, rather than getting two flat surfaces to touch right along the surface. So that's what we call a J-seal. So, however long this is, uh, well that's a, yeah, so that's an inch and a 16 JRC, to a three quarter size 2000 series hose assembly. So our part number for that, as you can see on all the Rico fittings like the part number stamps, a T2. So T means it's a hose end, 2 means it's a 2000 series, 040 is the style, so that's a female JIC. And then we've got the dash size there, so dash 12, so the, the number after the dash is referring to the size of the hose. So 12 being 3 quarter ID hose, and the 17 being dash 17 JIC because it's an 040 up the top. So it's an inch and a 16 JRC. So our part number for that is a T2040 2040-1278. So we still have a 2000 series fitting here, but as you can see, it's quite different. It's a different thread style. So we only, uh, Ryko don't just make hose ends in JRC. I make them in all different types of configurations. So in this case, this is BSPT. Uh, but you can also use, you can use that to, to screw into a tapered port if you really wanted to. Um, but because it has our 45 degree seat here, this will match with the female equivalent. So you could use that for a joiner. Um, or you could use that for uh, I'm not sure, maybe in, a, in an air compressor situation, you'd be able to screw that into a, maybe a ball valve or something like that. Quite common type use for a fitting like that. Uh, just a one wire hose for air or water. Like that. Um, okay, and then we move up to, yeah, like that fitting we saw before, which is our 7000 series. So as you can see, quite a big fitting, all number stamped up the top here. Maybe around the collar as well. No, not on this one. But it is stamped around the shoulder here. So as you can see, it's a R370. So R370 is denoting the, the stem before it gets this crimped on it, actually. So because it's got a 7000 series ferrule pre assembled onto this hose end, makes the part number go to a T7370-2400. So 24, which is inch and a half hose, to 24 SAE flange. So you actually get two bolts. Okay, so here we've got our uh, 7000 series fitting like we saw before briefly. So we'll go into a bit more detail about what this one is. It's a weird looking fitting, isn't it? So this is a SAE flange, code 62, which denotes the pressure range and also the thickness of this flange, in an inch and a half, code 62 flange to inch and a half, 7000 series, hose in. So this is crimped onto multi-spiral hose. So big hose, big pressure, um, typically found on, you know, cat dump trucks, um, uh, bigger uh, mobile earth moving equipment, plant, plant gear, where you're running um, in excess of 3000 PSI or 210 bar, you're, um, you know, you're operating up around the three to 400 bar range and you still need the big flow as well. That's your go-to. So, how they work, very simple really. An O-ring goes in the groove there. 
and then you just have a flat surface with obviously your port in the middle to match that size. And we'll have four bolt holes around it. So you can imagine that'd be over the hole between your piece of metal. And you've got your four bolt holes. And then you'll have four bolts that bolt that down. So super heavy duty, quite bulky in its design, um, but quite good for, um, you know, if you've got the room, but you know, to, to position, position your hose, the hose is well supported there at, at the end. You know, it's all big and, and chunky. That's all a one piece design as well. There's no silver soldering there or anything. That's all, that's all one piece. Beautiful, um, beautifully made fitting by Ryko there. The coating on these fittings and on our adapters is what we call a K plus coating in the Ryko system. So, depending how familiar you are with hydraulics or not, that you'd notice that pre two thousand and seven. Uh, the Ryko hose ends and adapters it used to be like a yellow colour. That was the old style of plating system, hexavalent um, based. So I'm not up to up to um, the chemical compounds of that. I'm just going off what this brochure tells me. Basically, they moved away from that for environmental reasons. So from 2007 to 2014, we had the Ryko system. So uh, uh, a grey. Um, like a dullish grey sort of colour, I guess is probably the easiest way to explain it. And now from 2014 onwards is a K plus, so you notice uh, it's it's like a, a bit shinier, um, plating, not as not as dull, uh, more noticeable sort of on the on the adapters um, from the dry coat to the K plus. So we in our stock we definitely don't have any of the gold ones anymore, but we do have some some dry coat. Uh, I didn't bring any samples out here today. Um, but yeah, most of our, I'd say 98% of our fitting now all over the Ryko K Plus fitting. So as, a, as those, that stock starts to move and goes through our inventory, it's all Ryko K Plus. So you want any more information about the um, K Plus coating, um, we can send you a brochure on it or um, you can uh, look that up uh, on the Ryko website. Okay, um, yeah, so that's probably about it for the hose ends. Um, stay tuned for the next video where we'll go through some adapters and we'll go through some hose protection and we'll also go through some hose as well. So stay tuned for the series. Thanks guys.